지금 이제 신생 클라우드 사업자들이 말하자면 GPU를 빌려주는 임대해주는 이런 뭐 이것을 AI 네오 클라우드라고 부르는 부르는 것 같은데 아까 말씀하신 여러 가지 이제 그 기존의 이 하이퍼 스케일러들하고 좀 어, 비교했을 때. 이거 비즈니스의 어떤 모델이라든지 방향성이 조금 다르게 흘러갈까요? 어떻게 보십니까? So, an existing hyperscaler could be a partner of an AI Neo Cloud. They could be a competitor of an AI Neo Cloud. So, I think that where how we think of the hyperscalers is they're established. They took an early swing in the AI market. You know, five years ago, before ChatGPT, enterprises were using AI in AWS. It was um, not generative AI, but still, you know, the the relational AI they did it was still AI. I think the AI Neo Clouds were born out of two things. Nvidia, I think, wanted to create an ecosystem that's diversified because I think Nvidia is very smart. I think they could see that Intel lost out of falling into this super highly consolidated marketplace where they only have four very large clients and they have so much power. So I think Nvidia actively created the Neo Clouds. Yeah. They invested in a lot of the companies because they realized that it's much better for them to have 20 clients instead of to have four clients.